Good morning everybody, 5th of July, we are heading towards the fourth stage of this year's Tour de France. I just came from my morning ride, so I go by bike to my company, which is uh, my sort of diet support. My problem is I still love eating, so I have to ride, but yeah, it's nice, it's, a, it's an hour ride, so you should try to do that. Let me have a quick eye on yesterday's stage. We had a quite long one and unfortunately uh, Andre couldn't make it just by one cent centimeter. So the German champion Andre Greipel, my former teammate and my roommate was a bit unlucky, but he showed how strong, how strong he is. And yeah, what we've, what we've talked about already on the first stage, Mark Cavendish is the old Mark, eh? it's the old Kev. So, um, yeah, he's really, really fast and his track preparation for Rio, which increased his weight a little bit, but yeah, it made sense. It made sense because it increased the power and it increased the uh, high end speed of him. So he's really one of the three fastest guys. So in the end, the fastest guy won yesterday. A bit uh, a pity for Andre, but yeah, today, today we have another chance for the really fast guys. So Andre, heads up, today will be the next possibility. So now today we are heading the fourth stage of this year's Tour de France and it will be again a tough one. Even without mountains, we are heading nearly close to 250 kilometers today. Pah, that will be a hard day. Even uh, without the hills, you have to take care for crosswinds, for traffic dividers, and you have to really fully concentrate. Because even as a Gregario, as a helper, you need to take care of your uh, chief, of your boss, of your captain, who's going to do the sprint in the final, the full and the long day, the whole day. Um, I guess one of the secrets is to bring him as relaxed as possible to the one kilometer sign that he can perform in the best way possible. So the guys from Dimension Data, Lotto, our guys from Giant Alpecin, they have to really look out for their captain and to support him in the best way possible that he can come to the finish as fresh as possible to do a really fast and high-end sprint. So now let me have a look on to Giant Alpecin's performance. Yesterday, a first really nice move from John. Really nice, 13th already, the first time he could really take part in the sprint and yeah, what everybody hoped and uh, what we've been cheering for, he's really getting in shape and from my point of view, boys, second or third week he will be one of the freshest riders in the peloton. It sounds kind of strange, but he didn't have to race the whole year until uh, May. Um, every negative side always has a positive side and positive effect as well. So, yeah, we, we saw it last year already with Simon Geschke. He was able to win a stage in the third week as a, as a guy who couldn't race the, the springtime due to an uh, accident. And in the end, sometimes it gives you an advantage as well. So, fingers crossed for John, yesterday already 13th. He's a strong guy, he has a strong head and yeah, today 250 kilometers, enough time to prepare in the head and John, for sure, you will do it. Okay, thanks to Matthias, we have a new question today regarding our supporter and sponsor Shimano. Matthias asked if everybody in the team is already riding the, the brand new Shimano Dura Ace Group Set R9100. And um, yeah, everybody for sure is keen on it and uh, maybe you guys saw the first photos, the first pictures, the first features and technical de details. Um, we are really, really keen on having it, but so far, to be honest, I didn't see any real components around and I guess this will really take a little bit of time. Maybe there will be some captains in the team sponsored by Shimano using it during this Tour de France. But um, in the teams itself, in our team, Giant Alpecin, so far I couldn't find a group set, which is a pity because this will be for sure the next step on the planet of components. Thanks, Matthias. So, thanks for watching. Looking forward to see you guys tomorrow. And yeah, we are getting closer to the hills, to the mountains. And yeah, yesterday was tough. Today, 250 Ks and tomorrow, 
the general classification guys have to show what they really are up to. Bye bye.